the previous um, it, it it feels like he went on this journey um, from the planet to this planet and uh, from the shapes and experiencing all these emotions and now as he came back to his body he suddenly feels so so tense so <sighs> he's sweating really badly <laughs> okay are we able to help him release that um density and can we start a body scan in his body please yes we can Thank you. I would really appreciate that. Are you able to heal his body and balance his body exactly how he needs to have it? Yes, absolutely. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you. So kind. Um, so as you know, he was interested in learning about what was happening to his location. Um, and it seemed like you gave him a very detailed description of what he's going to be experiencing. Is this going to be his future events or something else? Yes. <laughs> we, we give him, um, yes, we give him the exact informations and he did handle it pretty good. Um, yes, but uh, we don't want to uh, scare him and he hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yes we're not going to talk about the when it's going to happen yes of course he will be able to enjoy um his life that he has now um knowing that there is future events that will unfold, but he can enjoy all the days he has here. Yes, he he doesn't need to uh, think about this. Um, we gave him the visuals, we gave him the information, uh, we gave him um, all the necessary stuff, he, even though um, we did give him um, really, really, hmm, um, so, uh, really so much information. Um, he did, he did pretty good. Um, he felt really, really tense uh, when all the destruction was coming. But uh, we don't want him to focus on that. Um, it was just an information and. So he can prepare for what's coming next, but no need to stress out, no need to think about it, just he just needs to live his life and enjoy it and enjoy it now. Um, th this is um, again that we wanted him to, to know that um, he, <laughs> he sees now how much he enjoys life at the moment and how quickly things will change. So, yes, he's living his best life now and we want him to enjoy it. Fantastic. If he does get a sense of worry, um, which is obviously natural as people are trying to process the emotions with, this inf with the information from the sessions, would you recommend him to focus more on arriving? I'm assuming that planet was the planet that we call New Earth at the moment? Yes, um, he needs to focus on the arriving, on being on the ship, and on uh, on the events that will happen on the old Earth. But the the main focus for him should be the arriving on the new earth and how <laughs> fantastic it will be but he needs to keep in mind what will come next because he needs still some time to prepare and we will do it um, 
slowly and we will prepare him subconsciously um, that he will be ready for everything that's occurring. Well, thank you so much. Yes, that does make um, great sense for him and support for him. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, as you know, he was wanting to know more about the events that was going to be happening in Europe and in his country of um, Siberia. <laughs> and so, thank you. And he will be guided naturally to how he needs to prepare. Yes, yes, we will be there with him um, as we are now, but our presence will be shown even more and yes, um, the same thing, same things will happen in Europe. Um, there will be earthquakes, um, especially um, South Europe, uh, the Mediterranean Sea, um, um, yes, and in. in in you, in England, like Germany, Spain, France. Hmm. But hmm. <laughs> yes, there will be eruptions, of course. Um, he knows that. Uh, he is aware of them. Um, so. He, he doesn't need to concentrate on those things, but yes, um, La Palma, Etna, Island, um, Crete in Greece, and, and mm, <laughs> we won't tell them, uh, we won't tell him what's, what's more, so that's, it. that's enough. <laughs> okay well thank you yes i mean he doesn't need to worry about any of them because he knows the purpose and significance of them and so when he was noticing people were dying from either the vaccine or the virus were they truly just shifting out of their bodies and going onto the ships then yes 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 they would um yes they are going to the ships um, even though it sees it is um, a really, really bad situation on Earth, but um, they, he doesn't need to worry about it uh, so much. Um, we will prepare him for that, and he will know that um, what, what, what's happening, and uh, he can confront others that, um, that what's happening he will, he will know the truth. Yes, yes he does. We can see that as an advantage point for him because he is wanting to know um, what his purpose here on earth is at the moment and you've just given him a, quite a lot to process through. What would you like him to know about his purpose here? Well, he needs to enjoy life First of all, um, uh, he will have a bigger purpose when things start rolling. Mm. Yes, that's when he will know. I mean, he will know. He will know. Mm. We are going to guide him tremendously and he will uh, sense our uh, present presence um, all the time and we will be annoying <laughs> for him actually he'll be a little bit annoyed by us but yes he he'll be guided and he will know what to do and he will know exactly what to do and that will be his purpose on on these in this time will he be able to comfortably talk to people about what's happening or will he still be a bit struggling to know what to say. 
Yes. Um, he he now doesn't know how to uh, how to approach people, and he will be observing um, uh, other people um, in in when the first when the thing starts happening. But he will have a big role of helping people out, um, assisting them, um, giving them hugs. And he will do that to unknown people as well. Well, mostly unknown. Um, and yes, um, we will be there to guide him. He will be ready. I mean, he is ready now, but he will be, he will feel so rel relieved that it will, it will flow naturally for him. Well, fantastic. He is wanting to know what he can do now to improve himself. What are your recommendations? Mm. <laughs> well, uh, he needs to enjoy life more. He is being, is being thinking, overthinking, and it, it is like a mess, a little mess in his mind. He doesn't know where to go, what to do, but he actually knows what to do. And <laughs> we're not doing too much work here because he knows what he needs to do, but he's overthinking it. But yes, he needs to um, think less, um, enjoy life, enjoy um, everything that's around him. Uh, even the air, even the, the, the walls of the buildings, even um, the trees, he can hug the trees, he can, he can do all these um, crazy stuff, as you call it, um, and it will help him tremendously. And yes, he will have a clear vision what to do next. And it will be, in the end of the road, it will be like, hmm, I need to enjoy life more. Oh my God. Hmm. What have I been thinking about? I've been thinking about all this nonsense. But yes. <laughs> well, he needs to enjoy life more. And yes, that's it. Thank you. What lessons do you still need to learn before the shift? He needs to um, spread more love. Spread more love, not only to his family members, not only to his friends that he has been neglecting a bit, um, not criticizing, just saying. Um, not only his girlfriend, but also the bus driver, also um, people working at grocery stores, people working at malls, people doing construction business. Um, all these people are struggling and he can sense that and he almost feels bad that he's not giving out love to them. Um, yes, he should, he should like, whenever he passes somebody and you can see that they are, because he can sense that they're in a bad mood or struggling with something, maybe problems with whatever, um, he can send a bit of love to, to, to those people. And it is not um, really, really something big that he thinks it is, like sitting down, meditating, uh, and so on. No, he just needs to, if he sees someone like that, he just needs to uh, make an intention on sending uh, like a like a heart, <laughs> like heart emoji to them, <laughs> and they will feel it, and they will feel better, and he will also sense that they'll feel better. And if he does that to um, a lot of people, yes, he will feel full of energy and full of life. Fantastic, wonderful. Well, that is great advice. Thank you. And so um, he was wanting to know if he was going to be staying longer after the main shifts to help people and 
it feels like you already uh, well and truly let him experience that. Um, is there anything else you wanted to to let him know about his roles and responsibilities on the old earth? Um, yes, um, he's going to stay pretty, pretty late. Uh, he'll be late for the party, but he'll arrive on the ship. Um, about the earth, um, he now thinks that it is uh, really hard and it will be really, really, really painful and, and scary and frightening experience because it will be for so many people around him and he will sense fear almost every day but we assure him that he 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 will be protected and that um fear and, um, and sensing that the people are scared are is not going to affect him so um, he'll be protected like a shield and he will not feel those energies um, as strong as he thinks he will and he will be able to share and spread love compassion and and overall help people and they will be grateful okay well that is good um would it be reckon mended for him to have copies of the Mastering the Old Earth for him to share with people? Uh, yes and no. Um, yes, because there are people who are going to read the book and he, <laughs> he already knows uh, how, to, how to give uh, and where to place the, the book because there will be certain points uh, in the city where he can place the book and people are going to, um, to, 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 to grab it and start, start reading it because they will think that it is like a sign from, from angels uh, uh, for them to read and they will spread the, 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 the words from the book and they will learn a lot. But... Um, majority uh, of the times he will be um, he will read the book and he will know really good how to how to say these things to other people and he can do it much better uh, through words and through emotions and then just people um, uh, reading the book because unfortunately no um the people will be in fear and scared and they won't be thinking about the like a uh, stupid book to read and he will spread the word word by by talking to them and confronting them in his own way and that will help people mostly Yes, that makes so much sense for him to sort of study up on the book and then be able to help others with um, applying his own knowledge. Yes, yes. And he will read the Dolores Cannon book as well. And that will, uh, that will like, um, those two books will make like a whole puzzle and he will understand everything that's going to happen and how it's going to happen and he will know exactly what to do and yes fantastic that's so fantastic thank you so much um wonderful and then he was wondering um if he's still going to be in a relationship with his current girlfriend, what can you tell him about that? Hmm. 
we he don't really want to um, talk about that. Okay, thank you. And he will understand that he's probably got many connections to many other people um, from, I was going to ask, actually, how many other lifetimes has he had on this planet? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. How many times has he been on this planet? How many other lifetimes? I'm not really getting an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have any other lifetimes? Did he have any other lifetimes that you could share information with him about that he has personally experienced? Yes, he had many lifetimes before, but... Um... Uh, we don't want to share the information on Earth, um, mainly because it is, if there are, if there were uh, lifetimes on Earth, um, it is it is so, like, one, like, maybe we can sense, like, one, or maybe not. But we can sense other lifetimes that he had plenty of really, really, like more than 30, 30 lifetimes, uh, not on Earth, on other planets and so on. Okay, I understand. Um, in terms of maybe his other one lifetime, was it an imprint or was that a physical lifetime he had other than himself? Mm. it feels like it's half of a lifetime. <laughs> it's like, it's not a whole lifetime. Even it's, uh, it's like we cannot say that he had a one lifetime before because that cannot be said as a lifetime. It is like half of the, half of a life. Mm -hmm. So... Yes. Can, we, can we understand it as he's either been a part of a walk-in or a walk-out lifetime experience? We can sense that um, he, he had his exit point when he was really, really uh, small. Like, uh, maybe he was not born yet when he had his exit point in his previous lifetime. So, um, oh, yes. Okay, well, thank you so much. That is very interesting. Okay, so then he's here now and he's curious about uh, sexual connections and experiences on the new earth. What can you tell him? Yes, um, he can. He can have uh, like a physical sexual um, connection with the other, with the other being, but um, it will be a bit different and unusual. But um, it, at the same time, um, the connection may. Uh, the connection can occur um, without the physical contact. Like it can be only uh, energetical, like an energetical bubble uh, where he can um, have um, like a sexual connection. So it will be weird for him at the press, but yes, um, definitely he can try the physical one, um, but he will find out that the energy is more potent and stronger 
uh, than having a physical contact with the other person. And he will, and he will um, uh, abandon <laughs> that um, physical form of sex um, because he will find out that the energetical level of sex and the energetical connection uh, between um, two or more people is stronger um, and more potent and overall a, a better feeling. Um, if you feel like um, getting to reaching a higher dimension, Fantastic. And so will he be able to make friends with other species on New Earth? Yes, 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 yes. Um, he will actually want to make contact with other uh, species and other beings and other different beings. And at first, um, there will uh, be... Mm, really, really small amount of those beings that are in uh, visually, uh, where you can visually see that they are other beings, that they are not humans, and he will connect with them uh, automatically. It is like um, uh, meeting and greeting an old friend that you haven't seen in a while, and he will be like, oh, hi. <laughs> And it will not be weird because he thinks it will be weird. It will not be weird at all. It will be really cool. And he wants to make as much, uh, as many friends as possible that are that have different characteris characteristics. Uh, yes, it will be like really, really cool um, um, experience and learning experience for him. Very cool. Okay, thank you. And in terms of his uh, life at the moment, um, he was wanting to understand about his use of marijuana. What is your recommendations, please? It's good. Um, it's good, but no need to, to do it uh, too much. And his intentions are good with it because um, he is thinking about the use of marijuana as something spiritual and not uh, as much as an, an entertainment thing. Even though he uh, uses uh, use it uses it as an, an entertainment, um, we are giving him a hint that he can sense really strongly uh, that that's um, almost not like a correct way of using that tool. And, and yes, that often is uh, portrayed as, as he's, uh, we do it often through his girlfriend, um, where uh, whenever he smokes, um, for entertainment and just to shut off his mind uh, there we alert his girlfriend and he alerts him uh, physically through text messages and we do that all the time even though he doesn't really listen to those uh, messages um, but otherwise um, otherwise uh, he uses marijuana in um, really good purposes and uh, his mixture of consuming marijuana and playing music uh, is really a great gateway uh, towards higher realms and higher frequencies and it is like a channel it is like a tunnel uh, where he um, gets information from us uh, through music and we um, uh, we integrate this, the, the, the information through sound waves and frequencies of the music. And it may, 
and it uh, translates uh, into his mind like uh, words. And when he uses marijuana and when he plays music, uh, sudden uh, words, sudden sentences pop up in his mind that he is um, uh, sometimes aware of consciously, but uh, most of the time he is uh, aware of them subconsciously. And we are um, sending these informations to him, uh, our love support and some upgrading, some updates here and there. And yes. So overall, uh, marijuana usage is pretty useful. Um, it did really help him when he was younger to overcome some things and it really we to use of marijuana when he was younger we really got him thinking about spirituality and how can he expand his mind more uh, but through um, natural ways for example meditating laughing and so on so yes it's good but sometimes it's bad <laughs> thank you very much um i forgot to ask when he's on the new earth will he be having children he can he can if he wants to but i don't but i don't feel that he wants to have children um we sounds like um, because he won't be having children in this timeline that he's like wanting children on new earth but he'll be so so um he'll be doing so much other work and on on the new earth um that he will forget about children and having kids when he arrives there. <laughs> he will explore the new earth fully and no children will be on his mind then. Mm -hmm. And as you were showing him subconscious on the new earth, he is healing people and helping people. How is that his role and how did he learn how to do that? Uh, he's a healer. Um, he can heal people here on Earth as well, um, really strongly. He is really he has really strong uh, um, uh, healing ability, and he actually healed uh, the uh, unintentionally uh, the dog from who was really ill from his girlfriend. I mean, he did uh, intentionally try to heal him and he did send out some healing to the dog, but uh, the most of the work he has done was uh, subconsciously. And yes, and he's a healer. So on a new earth, that ability will come naturally. Like... He will be instantly uh, healing people. Amazing. Thank you. Very, very, very cool. Um, he did have a question about um, why he felt so connected watching the La Palma volcano uh, news feed. Um, it is like... Um, warning signs that we're giving him um, that he when things start to go really badly there which they will soon um, that that's, that moment is a trigger for him to instantaneously um, uh, get um, prepared uh, only to get prepared with nothing much, but only to get prepared for other things to come because um, that will be like an official 
um, starting point for him to start preparing. So yeah, he's monitoring it really closely. And yes, so that's why he has been watching La Palma every day to see if something is going to happen. And if something happens, he will um, immediately do, um, do uh, something about that. First, he will send healing to everybody on the island. And afterwards, um, we are going to prepare him for other events to come. I love that. I love that he's going to send healing to those on the island. Although, while it may look like exit points to us, are they really just shifting onto the ships? Yes, um, we can sense that they have some kind of um like there uh, we don't know exactly why like why are they the first ones like uh like they have some background like there is something up with that island uh that like energetically that um people born and that are living there uh, have something from the past, from from maybe past lives that uh, that they need. Um, they need to be uh, one of the first ones to 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 have their exit points, and it be it will be really hard for them to experience that. I see. So that, but that is life contracted. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding us. Okay, and so then he did want to know about the laser strike and if it was just going to strike the USA. Hmm. Um, it will look like uh, that it will only strike the US because um, people will be talking about the, that event uh, in the US uh, because it will be the major one, it will be really big. And we are showing him visuals, but uh, um, <laughs> we're not sure if he wants to share that um, with you. I don't know. It's okay. He doesn't if, need to share it with me. Uh, but we are also uh, showing them, like, showing him that th there will be other countries that are going to be affected, but not in that big uh, manner as in the US. Like, the US will be the big one and there will be smaller smaller ones across uh the globe south america um asia um and africa but that, that those are like really really minor ones but it will not so the answer is no no uh the the laser will not only struck the US, it will struck the other continents as well, but the major one will be in the US, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and then his other questions were, um, are we able to heal um, the 12-year-old and the 13-year-old version of him? Uh, when his parents were divorcing, if there is anything that he can release and heal and love now for himself? Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, we can do that and we will. And we want to remind him uh, whenever he goes uh, in that house where things uh, um, happened, uh, he... He should 
clean and repair and maybe throw out some things that are still there in that house that were caused by all this conflict and that will happen uh, that will mm, help him uh, even more uh, to heal uh, from those um, experiences and traumas that he lived through and he knows exactly what I'm talking about and it will not only help him but it will help his mom out because um, the energies uh, from the destruction are in those objects uh, that are still in the house and those objects um, need to get out of the house you you need to get rid of them and everything will, will be cool and fine like nothing happened thank you very much i'm sure he will do that as soon as he um can so thank you thank you thank you um subconscious out of curiosity who are you are you a physical or a non-physical being supporting him in this lifetime both i am uh in physical yes um but i'm mostly energetically um, um present but my physical body um has almost nothing to do with him but my energy is all around him. Fantastic. And if we were going to label you a collect from a collective or a type of, uh, I don't know what we would want to label it as, but how can we identify you? Who Do you belong to a collective? Mm. Yes, I do. Um, I belong to the Arcturians, um, but there are other collectives that are assisting him um, right now, and there are some Syrians and a Pleiadian guide that is here with him, but I am an Arcturian, yes. Fantastic. Okay, well, that is lovely. I'm so grateful to be able to connect with you today. Um, and then finally, subconscious, I'm curious about the length of the old earth and those experiences. Are you able to give me a rough estimate or understanding of how many months the old earth experience will last? Mm. In months, uh, because you like time lines and because you like time, we'll give you um, 36 months for the events to complete. But this is, uh, we purposefully um, went off a bit. So it is not exactly 36 months, but it is roughly there. So, yes, maybe sooner, maybe later, but yes, around there. When the final, final things are going to happen, yes. I see. But that would be the end of the planet and not his, he would not be here for 36 months. Um, he will be close to those 36 months. Um, Mm, but he will not be there. It will be the total, total end and total. Um, there will be no one left anymore here on the planet, uh, and he will not be here as well. He will be long gone. Um, but yes, yes. 
okay, thank you. Um, would it be helpful or encouraging for him to have a sense of how many months he will be experiencing the old earth? Mm, only a couple of months. Um, but those couple of months are going to feel like years. Uh, and yes, we, are, we want to encourage him that uh, it will happen fast, like even though it will feel like years, um, um, we are going to help you um, um, that it will feel less. And I know it's hard for him to understand these informations, uh, we can sense that he is sweating again, so we won't bother him um, so much with these informations anymore. But a um, couple of months from the first um, major event, when the first major event takes place, then uh, we can start counting those couple of months. So it will be quick, even though he will stay a bit longer than intended. Um, but yes, it's all fine. It's all fine. It seems like he's going to be of great service and comfort and support to those. And I'm really proud of him for being able to be of great service. Would he be able to use his healing to help people also sort of release the fear and worry that they are going to be experiencing on the old earth? Or is that not what he should be focusing on during that time? Yes, uh, he should be focusing on that. Like that would be his almost like, uh, um, like a priority like to send healing to everybody almost always and it will not be hard for him even though uh majority of the work will be done uh, subconsciously but he'll be sending healing to other people and he will learn that he can heal um physically by contact when the time's right so he'll be proud of that as well. And it will be, yes, it will not be hard. Um, he may think that it will be really challenging um, because it seems from this point of view uh, that it will be challenging. But in when the actual events take place and it will all come naturally and we are all here, here to guide him so he will feel like he's never alone and that there are two or three people next to him at all time helping others and helping himself so yeah he will heal others as much as he can and that's really really good sure is and he will know that he will be helping them in profound ways and will be still supporting them on the new earth is that a possibility that he will be able to help them through all of that yes um he will be on the ships with them um even though he won't do so much work um but he will be there and people will feel um, really pleasant and uh, comfortable and nice when he is around them. So, um, um, yes, he will be supporting uh, all the people there, again, uh, through energy and through healing and through love. I love this so much. Thank you so, so, so much. 
Is there any other information you would like him to know today? Hmm. He should not fear love, love others, love himself, because the energy uh, comes from loving himself first and then sharing that love and healing energy towards others. And that's when, uh, that's when, uh, this, when, that's when the healing is the strongest. So he needs to focus on spreading love, um, spreading, um, sharing love, uh, and spreading healing, uh, towards his mother because she's also on a mission and she's also, um, 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 from another place and she needs his support right now um, because he, she feels like um, she's not doing enough. She feels that uh, her energy is low but and she desperately calls him subconsciously and he sometimes hear it and it 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 is for him like oh i should call my mom and have a chat with her um but she, he needs to focus um on sharing and spreading love and light towards his mother to uh, give strength to her um because he uh, is one of the reasons uh, why Skier is on Earth because his mother um, uh, needed help with the work and he helped her tremendously. He, he really, really, really helped her and they're all on the same path. Her mother is also, his mother is also a healer. So so yes, uh, take care of her and she will do her work. Um, yes, that's it. Just enjoy life, share love, do goofy stuff, um, do funny stuff, laugh because your energy is really, really strong when you're laughing. And everybody can feel that. So just keep doing that. And yes, we are all here and we will be here and we are supporting you uh, more than ever in, in the last couple of months. We, we have been giving you guidelines and you, you should just you do you <laughs> because you all you know all the answers because they're in there in your subconsciousness and in your mind and you really know all the answers to so trust your subconscious and it, it, you're fine you're fine really nothing to worry about thank you so much subconscious um, yes we will um we will definitely trust the subconscious um, and the information. It seems like it's the most easiest way to navigate through life at the moment. Yes, but uh, people uh, don't listen. They don't listen to their subconsciousness. And they're, it's, it's, it's like they're blocked from it. Yes, I'm slightly aware that there, there is a disconnect there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The struggle is That's real. <laughs> yes. But, um, yeah, but, sorry. I know it's all purposeful. It's all purposeful. We do understand that uh, people are not connected 
uh, to themselves. I mean, uh, a lot of them are not connected to their bodies, let alone the subconsciousness. So, man, it's all right. It's all right. Mm, it's all purposeful. And um, yes, so it's all good. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, subconscious, is this is any of this information um, that you provided for us today anything that you would like to be shared publicly? Yes, you can do it. You can do that. And Stefan would be happy. <sighs> to share these information. Okay, well, thank you so much. Um, we will let him listen to it first, of course, before uh, we get his conscious approval. So thank you. Thank you for that. Mm, um, yes, uh, <laughs> definitely uh, we need to let him listen to this first um, because there might be a slight blockage um, from like sh his conscious mind like sharing information publicly but we will figure this thing these things out <laughs> don't worry <laughs>